आप अपने आप पे ध्यान ही नहीं दे पा रहे हो बिकॉज वी डोंट हैव टाइम बिकॉज ऑफ द लाइफ दैट वी आर लिविंग इन वट आर द टाइप ऑफ थॉट दैट यू हैव यू नो डू यू फील फुलफिल्ड डू यू फील लाइक यू नो आई हैव अचीव एवरीथिंग आई वी आर इजिली एबल टू कनेक्ट विद एनी बडी हु वी वॉन्ट लाइक सडन आई कीप क्वेश्चनिंग माई सेल्फ मेक इट वर्क द वे यू वॉन्ट टू मेक इट वर्क एवरीथिंग इन दिस यूनिवर्स इज एनर्जी Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the podcast Beyond the Peel, your journey to self transformation. So, there is this feeling that I have currently that I want to share with you all because I think it's not just me. Uh so what I'm currently feeling is that there is like a little sinking feeling in my stomach. I am I'm really starting to doubt my abilities. I'm really starting to question what is it that I'm doing. I'm really, you know, starting to feel that i've not accomplished enough even though i have proof in front of me that i have been a success in this particular area but even despite all of that proof despite all of those success stories that i have accomplished um i still feel i am going to fail at this thing i am you know basically self doubting myself i'm feeling i'm not good enough yeah that that's what i'm feeling at the moment and if you all do not know this is called the imposter syndrome i knew about this word but you know i never really bothered to research about what this is i never really bothered to um get out of it if i may say so so this time around this feeling has been with me for past couple of months and you know i'm just in a stagnant state of mind i'm like just still this is zombie you i'm just still there i'm not doing anything i'm just you know sitting with myself with that feeling of fear with that feeling of um not being good enough i'm just sitting there and now i recognize it's high time that i start getting out of it so what i'm going to share with you today in in this video so if you're excited to know more about it stay tuned the very first and the important thing that i have learned as and when i was researching and as and when i was trying to come out of it was that it's not just me there are lots and lots of people who have this feeling within them and uh, unfortunately i am a victim of of imposter syndrome this time around there are lots of people who face this in different phases of their life different walks of their life it's not necessarily related to career it's related to their personal life as well so that is the very first learning that i have had that i am not alone and to be honest that makes me feel a little good that's me that makes me feel that there is a cure for it uh that makes me feel that yes i can feel good about myself i can feel good about my accomplishments because there is a solution out there that people have already accomplished in their life that people have implemented in their life and that is what i am going to do as well and that's what i'm going to share with you all right so that was the very first learning that i am not alone in this there are many people who face that and first recognizing that we are feeling this recognizing that we have a pretty name to give to it is like a step of accomplishment in my opinion so yeah that's that's the very first learning that i have had recently that it is a very common experience amongst lots of people i'm um, in all different age ranges into all different aspects of career and it's okay it's okay to feel the way that i am feeling as of now my whole life doesn't hinge on it it's just a bad phase which i know will pass through if i am able to you know get the help that i need from the experiences of people who've already overcome this so that is a very very important first thing to do how do i overcome this feeling right that is why you're watching this video till now how do i overcome this feeling of being an imposter you know have the having that feeling of being a fraud to be honest be having that feeling of not being good enough for people for the people i serve um so how do i overcome this feeling is something um that's very very important once we have realized that yes this is something many people out there are facing as well a couple of things there first one is that i i have tried to reframe my thoughts what that means is that any time wherein i am feeling wherein i feel that i'm not good enough i cannot do x i reframe my thoughts i i speak about mindset reprogramming a lot on this podcast i'm going to link the videos everywhere but mindset reprogramming is a technique that i use in this phase for myself whenever i feel whenever there is a thought that comes in my mind which says i cannot do this or this person might think 
I am not doing justice to them. I basically change that thought and I reframe it to something that is positive. I talk about affirmations a lot on this channel as well. So I basically reframe my thoughts consciously to allow my brain to only think that I want my brain to think, if that makes sense, right? So in this concept of mindset reprogramming in this world of uh, affirmations and all of that, mindset reprogramming and reframing and making your mind think what you want your mind to think is a very, very big um, big accomplishment in my opinion if you're able to do that successfully kudos to you because then there's no limit to be honest so once I start thinking in this imposter syndrome phase once I start thinking that I am not good enough or whatever those negative things are I basically change it to a positive thought and that's what I keep thinking 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 till the time my mind accepts that thought and till the time my mind basically soaks it in till the time the each cell of my body starts believing that it is true I feel good about it I have tried it to be honest because in this imposter syndrome phase there were lots of times I was really feeling what am I doing is this going, am I even going to be successful going forward even though I knew this is something that I have tried before and I have been successful even despite looking at the proof there have been times there have been times when I have felt I cannot do this uh, I don't know if this will work out. I basically changed my mindset to yes, I can do this. I have done this before. I can do this again repeatedly over and over again. I'm reframing my thoughts. I'm replacing those negative thoughts with the positive thoughts so that I train my mind to the way I wanted to think. So that was the very first strategy that I applied to come out of the imposter syndrome. Second strategy sort of linked to it was again in this feeling of self-doubt and this feeling of being a failure I looked at all the accomplishments I have had in the past related to similar things I uh, for me accomplishment is not winning a medal or having a certificate or being recognized by XYZ party for me accomplishment is the feeling the feeling of being satisfied the feeling of happiness the feeling of being great uh, so I hold on to those feelings and I basically look at all those feelings and I see that I have accomplished something. I am able to motivate myself looking at those success stories that I have had in the past. And that's that's something, a little trick that I've tried to get out of imposter syndrome and it has worked wonderfully well. So I think it's okay to be in that because as I said in past 2-3 months I've been in the zombie zone wherein I'm not doing what I should be doing. I'm just overthinking, sitting out there. I'm just self-doubting myself. And in this time, I think I have allowed myself to rethink, recenter. GPS may up log recenter karte na map ko. So this imposter syndrome phase is like that, wherein you sit with yourself, don't do anything. You don't do anything for two months, one year, that's fine. But you want to make sure that you are reprogramming your mind. You are recentering your mind to the direction it wants to go to at the end. That's okay to take that time off for yourself, but a couple of tips and tricks which I share, which I'm sharing today, are going to probably help you. So, thinking about all the accomplishments, thinking about the success stories I have had in the past related to the similar thing I'm having the imposter syndrome about, uh, has helped me, has helped my brain to feel that yeah, it's doable. Yeah, why not, right? So, I think that's a simple trick that I have applied and. It's worked wonderfully well. A very important thing that I've done during this feeling of being an imposter is um, I I have accepted it and I am seeking help. I am not necessarily taking therapy for it, but I know I have a problem. I started Googling it. I started seeing a lot of videos about people who've had that and I'm basically out there looking to learn something to apply in my life and I'm seeking help. There have been times, you know, I have spoken with a close person of mine whom I can share everything with and just tell them what I'm feeling and that has really helped me as well. So identify who that person for you is, who you can share everything with and just seek out for help. If you think you don't have anyone like that, seek out for professional help if, if you know you, if you think you've gone too far. Uh, but for me, what I did was I basically... Um, there's a family member that I am very close to. I shared this with them. I seek for help in the form of learning new things online and applying those tips and tricks in my life to get out of this phase. So 
that is something that is really important once you've identified because many a times we think that if i utter this outside of my mouth that i am dealing with imposter syndrome people will judge me so i don't think we need to do that instead of that try to come out of it because at the end of the day we want to reach where we want to reach at the end and this is just a challenge that you're facing now but definitely you can face at any phase of life in accomplishing your goal to ek baar usko tackle karne ka tarika mil gaya every time you are in that phase you can come out of it feeling uh using these tips and tricks so that is something i did i definitely looked out for help when i was feeling that and last but not the least as i mentioned a little bit i want to also emphasize it again that this phase of a couple of months wherein we feel like uh a feeling of self doubt and that sinking feeling within wherein you're not doing anything whereas you should be working on your goals is that it's okay it's okay to fail i had a lot of big plans at the beginning of the year this is march when i'm recording it but from past couple of months i'm just not feeling it um i have made some investments i'm not doing anything about it and i have basically made peace with that fact that it is okay to feel this way it is okay to fail uh it is okay to basically not be working on your goal at some time and that is okay so i'm embracing the life as it comes in and i think that mentality is something that i would like my viewers to have as well that even if you are in this imposter syndrome phase in this self doubt phase that's okay as long as you're realizing it and as long as you're seeking help for it and doing things on your side reprogramming your mind and stuff like that i think it's okay because this is just a learning for you this is not the last time you are going to be in imposter syndrome you are going to face it multiple time as it goes for any failure it's not like once you face a failure rest of the life you're never never going to face it that's never going to happen you're always going to face failures you're always going to this imposter syndrome phase you're always going to be in that phase in future as well but by learning what you ought to learn at that point of time is the mindset that you really need to have so embrace any damn thing that comes your way when you are accomplishing your goals i am not saying that you do a goal setting exercise at the beginning of the year and then 365 days you are working on it every single day i don't do it it's not practical i am a human as well i have my ups and downs i have my good days bad days but i embrace it i take up this a uh, couple of months as a learning for me so that i bounce back even faster and get back on track so with anything similar to imposter syndrome that is what i apply in my life and that is how i take everything as a learning and basically find out a way to get out of it and then to be on track recenter my life like a gps okay so these are a couple of tips and tricks that have definitely helped me to get out of that imposter syndrome phase right so with that i am going to wind up the video just a friendly note for all my viewers who have been following this podcast we are all worth it uh we can overcome any challenge that comes my way i say that because i face challenges literally by standing there this you know this is reminding me of that so i'll find a photo and put it up here but there will be a girl who's standing in front of a bull that there's nothing that can stop her there's nothing that can stop me these all these things like imposter syndrome and all come and go what doesn't go what stays is me my mindset my will power and i think people viewing this i wish you have all of that because uh life is beautiful and in order to accomplish whatever we want to we need to find a way to get out of it rather than staying stuck in it so that is what i want to say at the end of it and i'm going to wrap up the video i hope you find these strategies helpful because these have definitely helped me to come out of imposter syndrome i hope this um provides you the help that you need i hope this reaches out to the right people and basically does wonders for them because it's very 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 common for people to face that so with that i'm going to wind up the video um see you all next week bye bye